Hagen. Just arriving at the track now with my teammates. Uh, parking was completely full, so we are parking with the fans. Never done that before at Spa, but uh, now the Porsches are driving and we have to arrive, run a little bit because there was some traffic to get on time for the meeting. But uh, apart from all of that, I'm looking forward to the race. Can you already see the Kui Andrade at one? Flat out at the start overtaking, uh, walking on the outside of the uh, So now I arrived at the meetings and uh, Rui will be taking the start. After that, Norman will get in the car and then finally I'll get to go in the, in the racing car. We're at the moment still sunny, but here in Belgium you never know with the weather, so uh, Rui's definitely got a bit of nerves going on with the inside of him, but I'm going to take him for a quick walk and it's calm because we're going to have a good race. Alright guys, let's take a look at the garage setup from WRT. We've got the two cars, this one's mine obviously, we're doing a bit of setup work at the moment, and uh, sister car. We've got all this beautiful barge boarding to separate us from our competition and a couple screens uh, to give us some uh, information during the runs. Then we come back to the more the backstage areas where uh, only the exclusive people get to join. Now I take you guys here. And uh, back here we have engineering department. Um, all the people doing uh, working on setups and looking at data, making sure everything's working on the car. And uh, yeah, but here we have the coffee and the drinks, which is super nice. And we have uh, some mechanics not working at all. Helmet area uh, and our seats, our seat inserts so they don't get lost. Normally I have my helmet here but it's on the dryer. And um, yeah, we need to make sure everything is nice and set up so nothing gets lost uh, during the race. Behind the garage we have our tires and everything that we need to keep nice and warm before they get on the car. And uh, this is basically the tire storage uh, area. We have the tire blankets which get the tires to the exact right temperature that we need, kind of like in Formula 1, uh, before they get on the car. Um, we also have the truckie over here who's hiding now from the camera, but he also helps with making sure that all the pressures are in the right area. We have the wet tires and the slicks, depending on the weather, obviously. In here we have like a little workshop, away from the workshop, where we could do carbon works and fixing stuff on the car. And uh, they just put on new carbon bits or, or change things. And kind of, we are not behaving well enough, fix it for us. The most important room for us drivers is the driver changing room. The locker room where we keep all of our stuff it's super messy but uh, at least I know where everything is and this is our car over here and the sister car this stuff is over here this is where the helmets sometimes get uh, fixed or changed whatever needs to be done that's basically everything that we have up here by the pit lane we then also have catering unit where we eat but uh, for now this is all I'll show you guys yeah, when I blow up, I'ma soar high like Peter Pan And put life be living out my dreams I'm waking up, it's in a foreign land Whole wrist covered up in ice So, there's our car It's arriving perfect time So nice to be on the grid Feels awesome it's Like a really cool peak moment in the weekend Everybody's here, everybody's excited, everybody's asking what it's going to be like, a drunk, a t-shirt gun. Alright guys, race has started as you can hear in the background, um, first lap's done, Rui dropped back a few positions, but the guy's in one piece and he's all safe, that's the number one priority. And now uh, I think Rui's getting in his groove so he's uh, cracking on a bit, which is nice. Norman's getting ready because he'll be the next driver in, and then I just had lunch so I'm gonna digest, chill out, get ready for my thing. had a safety car, um, someone lost the rear on the exit of turn 13 at Pitha and uh, now red flag happened so neutralized the race and uh, it just started to rain a little bit at the end of it, especially around here, but the track is so big so sometimes we can have like rain here and no rain over there and then now we're having like 
I think rain back there, as you can see, like showers, um, but none here. So we're sticking to the dry tire, uh, as most are, but if it starts to suddenly move this way, depending on the wind, if you know there's no wind, um, we're gonna have to change quickly. And Norman's now got his helmet ready, but still it's seeming like it could be a very tricky situation. My wall of protection from the outside world. I just go, boom! Destroys everything. I protect you, I offer all yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we haven't actually gone green since we last spoke, since our last interaction. But uh, yeah, it's just raining so much that uh, they can't really green flag the track because it's just going to be too dangerous. Uh, we have got wet tires on, so it's the best we've got. But uh, yeah, Norman, since Norman got in the car, he's been in there for like 20 minutes, but not actually pushed a single lap. I'm quite happy that I'm here dry, not uh, out there. It's quite, quite, quite torrential. torrential. I've been in the car for ages and it's time for me to do my part. So uh, coming now to the transition phase between wet and slicks and uh, that's when I'll come into play. So I'm gonna go get ready now. Over the three cars, they kept on spinning, making mistakes, but we didn't. And man, I was crying on the end lap. Seven races in a row, seven podiums. 